Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today to share with you a really quick recipe. It is Texas barbecue rice skillet, using ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. So to start, you're gonna need two tablespoons of melted butter, and I have it here in my skillet, and you're going to need a box of rice mix. This is the brand that I happen to use. I'm using beef, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And you're going to prepare the rice just as it directs you to on the package. So I'm just gonna pour this in. And I want my rice mixture to get nice and golden brown. And I really like this recipe because you make everything in one skillet. You don't have to dirty up a bunch of dishes. So another thing is I've already browned one pound of ground beef. So I browned it in this skillet and I wiped it out. And as you can see now, of course, I'm doing the rice mixture. But if you don't want to use ground beef, you want to use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you prefer to use is absolutely fine. Okay, so my rice mixture is nice and golden brown. And to this rice mixture, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water. I'm going to add two cups of frozen corn. And I'm going to add the seasoning package that came with the rice mix. And I'm gonna give it a good stir and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm simply going to cover it and let the rice cook. That'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and now I'm going to add in my ground beef that I already cooked. And I'm gonna add in some barbecue sauce. And this is the brand that I happen to be using. And like I said, I am going to have, um, I think I said, I am going to have this recipe in the description box so you'll have all the exact measurements and everything that you need. So I've got my half a cup of barbecue sauce in there and I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And if you don't have barbecue sauce, you can use salsa in place of the barbecue sauce. So it's a really versatile recipe. And as you can see, it makes a lot to serve your family. And it's quick, it's inexpensive. So I have everything all stirred in. Now the last step is just to add some cheese on top of this skillet. So I am using a sharp cheddar cheese. And I used the block cheese. Um, I didn't use the pre-shredded pre -shredded cheese in the bag just because it doesn't melt as well to me as the block cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on. If you like a lot of cheese, you can add more. But if you want Monterey Jack, whatever you want to use, you know, like I said, this recipe, recipe is pretty versatile. So I've got my cheese and I'm just gonna cover this for about five minutes and then let it melt and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so here is the finished product. I let the cheese melt for about five minutes and this is what it looks like. And I took some out of the middle right there and put it on a plate so you guys can see what it looks like. Here it is. And um, as you can see, this is a really simple, easy meal using um, items that you probably already have on hand. It's a hearty meal, it feeds a lot, and it's inexpensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope that you'll do so. See you guys next time.